Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Marley and I are up here in the mountains. We've been here most of the day. I've been filming for a few other projects, but I figured I'd take you guys with me on a little hunt this evening. I brought with me the American Air Arms Evil. This is in 22 caliber. This is the standard version, and I'm using the Daystate Howler slugs, um, which are pushing it just about 43 foot pounds. I've got the Tacticam on here, and we're gonna head out. We'll see if we can spot some cottontails, jackrabbits. It is a, a beautiful, cool evening. We got a little bit of a breeze up here. Um, so hopefully we can have some luck. Um, I'm gonna bring you guys along and uh, we'll check back in as we go. This area does have a lot of sagebrush and this particular area, most of it is about waist high. Um, maybe as high as your chest, but it's kind of spread out and the jackrabbits kind of like to hide in between And this is one of my favorite areas to hunt just a really beautiful spot And uh, it's really not very far from my camp size one nice and healthy I don't see any ticks um, which is actually kind of rare this time of year usually they're covered in ticks um, but in this particular area um, they seem to be pretty healthy they, they don't seem as ratty as a lot of the other ones that I've seen Marley and I are just taking a little break here and as you guys can see it's just a beautiful evening. Got a nice view out here. Um, the mornings and evenings here are really pretty. Really unlike anywhere else that I've been as far as hunting. And uh, there is quite a few jackrabbits here. You just uh, really got to look for them. Um, this particular area is pretty good. It's kind of open. You're able to see pretty well. Um, there's really not much sagebrush that's much over your waist and it seems to be spread out pretty well. We're just going to relax for a little bit and then uh, head back to camp. It's just kind of a lazy evening. I was happy we were able to get a jackrabbit. We'll get this guy in the cooler once we get back to camp. So this is our setup for tonight. We just got a little cot here. Um, I configured the, the tarp a little differently. I brought the walls down. Um, so we've got two pretty good sides and then uh, I'm able to kind of block off some of the other stuff with my backpack and my, my chair. Um, right now I'm just gonna pull a few things out of my box here and we're gonna start cooking some chili.
you know, this is about as simple as you can get, you know, just heating up some chili in a, in a pot. Um, this little stove here is like 24 bucks on Amazon. Um, takes up no space. Those little butane canisters really cost nothing and, and they last a while. Um, you can cook quite a few meals. You know, I use it to make my coffee and all that stuff. But I, I generally like to try and keep it simple, especially when it's hot. Um, you know, the last thing I want to do is have a bunch of stuff um, to pack up when the sun is beating down on you. And so I usually have, you know, a few things like canned goods that I can easily just kind of heat up. And, and it's enough to get me by for a night or two. Um, to where I'm not hungry but this is almost done and we're gonna eat if you guys have never had Fritos in your chili along with a little bit of cheese you don't know what you're missing um, really inexpensive meal to make very simple and it's gonna fill you up um, this is become kind of one of my favorite meals to make when I'm camping. Very, very good. I'm going to finish this and then uh, I'm going to make some coffee and I'll bring you guys back. You're going to have to check out the moon here. It, I think is almost full. I think tomorrow night it's supposed to be a full moon but it looks like it is right now Hey, cheers you guys. Um, it seems like it dropped about 10 degrees here in the, the past few minutes. Um, it's about 62. Um, it'll probably get into the low 50s tonight. I'm probably actually about ready to put my jacket on. But we got plenty of blankets. Um, I got a sleeping bag and we should be pretty warm. Marley's already passed out here. She had a long day. Um, but yeah, I was really happy we had some luck with the evil. Um, that thing really is an amazing gun. Um, really surprises me, you know, how much it's gone through and um, it still shoots as well as it does. Um, it, it is an awesome gun, really easy to carry, very accurate with those howler slugs. And uh, I think the plan is to get up tomorrow, we'll get up early, we'll head out we'll do a little bit of hunting and i still got some other stuff that i gotta film here so we'll see how it works out um but we do have what looks like almost a full moon i think tomorrow is actually going to be the full moon um but i'm going to finish this up i'm going to pick up a few things around camp we did hear some coyotes while i was finishing my dinner um, I'm not really worried about them coming into camp, um, but we do have bears, and so chances are, um, you know, it's possible a bear will come through here tonight, but usually Marley will bark, and that's enough to usually scare them away, because they're not used to people. Um, it's not like where you see them in campgrounds and parks and stuff where they're, they're trying to get into people's cars. Um, they're, they're not used to that up here. And so the slightest noise kind of scares them away. And if that doesn't work, I've got some other options sitting next to my bed here. So hopefully we won't have to go that route. But 
Anyways, I'm going to finish my coffee and we will see you guys bright and early. So out here there's quite a few jackrabbits that hang out and I think they like the tall grass and and it's nice for hunting because a lot of the sagebrush is kind of spread out and you've got a pretty good area to, to view them. Um, they don't have a ton of uh, real thick stuff to, to hide in. And so we're just going to kind of slowly walk down through here and uh, hopefully we can spot a jackrabbit. So I spotted this guy at 58 yards and geez, we'd only been hunting for maybe about 10 minutes. So it didn't take us that long to get out here and spot a jackrabbit. And it's not always that way. A lot of times you'll be hiking all day and you won't even see a jackrabbit. Um, but I think we're just kind of in that, that peak of uh, time of the year where they're pretty active. There's a lot of them. And they don't seem to have a ton of predators here. And so I think the population has somewhat came back. So Marley and I had a really nice time up here. It was nice to get out, do a little bit of hiking. And we had some success with the hunting, as you guys could see. And thankfully it wasn't as hot as I really expected. Um, but the tarp shelter worked out well for us. We slept pretty good last night. It wasn't too cold. Um, and it was just a nice relaxing trip. Um, I'll make sure I leave links in the description for some of the gear that we used if you guys are interested. Um, or you guys can always email me through my website at mountainsportairguns.com and I'll try to get back to you as quickly as I can. Really appreciate you watching, and we'll see you on the next adventure.